Okay, question 23, we have this four mark question on matrices. Now the first part says find P squared. Now P squared is matrix multiplication and all that means is we're going to multiply P by itself. Now these are both two by two matrices. So if we check using the matrix test, can we make these matrices multiply? Well, we can if the number of columns in the first matrix matches the number of rows in the second matrix. And since these are both two, they do match. Now the second test is how big is our resulting matrix going to be? And we take the number of rows in the first one, which is two, and the number of columns in the second one, which is two, which means our resulting matrix is gonna be two by two, just the same as the original matrix. Okay, so let's do the multiplication. Okay, so we start with the first row and we're going to multiply that by the first column. So we've got three times three and one times two. Okay, then we're going to move on to the second row and the first column. So that's two times three and four times one. Now we're going on to the second row. Now we're going on to the second column and we're going to repeat the process. Two times three plus four times two. And two times one plus four times four. So adding all these together, we get 11, seven, 14 and 18. Okay, the second part says find the inverse of P. So the rules for finding an inverse matrix of the form A, B, C, D, or two by two matrix, is that we're going to find the determinant, which is given by one over A, D minus B, C. And we're gonna multiply that by this slightly changed version of the matrix. So this D goes first, then we have A down here, so D and A swap places, and then we have negative C and negative B. And so we just plug in our values like this, and we should get one over 10. And since A is three, that's gonna go down here. D is four, so that's gonna go up here. B was one, now it's minus one, and C was two, now it's minus two, and that is the answer.